has been. So the best Peters is the best Zelda. Going going back and forth, Ben from Vegas. Yeah. Vegas are really like rambunctious, like rowdy, supportive crowd whenever they show up to our tournament. So they're always making noise for their players. But uh, definitely check out that match too. Like you said, get that motion switch open. Don't want to miss any of these matches here today. So, uh, yeah, I'm really curious what Cyro is going to run with here. I would love to see the Falco. Yeah, I think I'll start Falco if I had to guess. But um, you know, who knows? Those multi uh, multi character threats are always yeah. hard to nail down. Hard to prep for. You know what I mean? Like you got. Well, I got to prep for five matchups. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's just the nature of being a competitive like Smash Ultimate player. Is 70 plus characters. Every character like plays differently. And like, I feel like every character has like something that you have to be careful of, no matter how weak they are. If you let them get that one win condition, they can upset you like at the blink of an eye if you're not ready. But uh, he hovered see. over Dark Pit. Oh, Falco. okay, Here we're we seeing it. The Falco is out. All right, here we go. Game one: Meyer versus Cairo. The crowd is definitely hyper. Oh. Game one, if you can tell in the background. And here we go. And the reflector is going to be a big deal because the Pikmin toss. Could be a little bit of trouble, but you might see Myron try to bait that out in neutral. So that's an interaction you'll have to pay attention to. But uh, Reflector being such a powerful tool. Uh, but Myron's yeah. un underneath Cairo and able to start a little bit of damage. Wow, the purple combo straight into the forward air. And everything going right for uh, Myron so far. Nice, nice chill pressure with the down to left here, just applying so much pressure with these aerials. Now, Falco's combo game is uh, some of the best in the game, especially with that up tilt, air, things like this. Yeah, as soon as uh, Cairo's able to get him opened up, Myron's going to be in for a world of hurt. It's a matter of opening up the Olimar, right? Pretty much every yeah. match looks like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, the multi end of the Nair, even though he got the parry, wasn't able to get the up tilt out in time. Yeah, you can tell Cairo came in prepared. The reflector coming out all day, just, you know, really making Myron second guess his camping options. He's staying slippery. It's kind of just wait till there's a white, right? And then pull out the reflector. Yeah, also the nature of the reflector too, if he throws out like a smash attack, you can actually reflect the Pikmin back in his face and uh, get a hit like, that way. But the blue throw, unsafe on uh, Myron's shield, there's no let him get the stock. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a mental lapse on Cara's part, just not able to really, because there wasn't really much to gain by doing that side special in that situation. But he's got, a, he's got his opportunity here as Myron a little bit of trouble. And unfortunately, nice, Myron battles right now. Bear. Oh, the purple Pikmin. Putting in work right now for Myron. Wow, that was so smart. He put the Pikmin on the top platform and then threw out the F smash, changing where it would attack from. I don't see that that much from Olimar, but it's cool to see that Myron uh, pulling that out. Yeah, a little nuances, intricacies on the character sometimes get overlooked when, you know, people just see the, uh, the, the Pikmin tosses in the campaign, right? <laughs> Yeah. And but some of us have an appreciation. Oh my god, almost a second parry on this fantastic. Myron just has it on lock. He knows when he's gonna try to warp right through him. Oh my goodness, the down smash hit below the ledge and if you were able to attack him still, the timing on that from Myron was so good. Down tilt though. Barely gonna connect. 148 on Cyrus Did that, uh, that outrange forward smash? Did the down yeah. tilt outrange forward smash? <laughs> Alright, calling Nair setups here from Cyro. It's that like combo game from combos you want to see. Nice, covers the neutral grid with the dare. So keeping up the pressure as best he can. Oh, whistles the up air though. Good timing. Yeah, and Akira's done a good job of, oh, as soon as I say that, he's done a good job of battling back in until Myra's like, no, it's uh, it's my game actually. Massively now for Myra, sitting comfortably in the driver's seat. Right, trying to find an opening here with Cyro. Back air is the Pikmin off move, but I feel like the range of moves aren't that long, so he has to get, yeah, he has to make really unsafe moves just to even touch Myron. All right, so Myron taking that first game pretty comfortably. You know, Cairo threw his best shots and started to close the gap at the end of the second stocks, but, you know, Myron's so good. Yeah. <laughs> In the Myron. blink of an eye, like so much damage so fast. Yeah, and uh, Cyro does have a plethora of other characters to go. Okay, yeah, we're seeing it. Man Knight out. You know, Man Knight's kind of been a character that can do really well against Alomar for quite some time. Um, 
the nature of his multiple jumps lets him edge guard Almar really well. And uh, Almar is also a pretty easy combo with to go for like the dash tech up there combos. So we're really gonna have to see if uh, you know Sarah can play on point, get his combos, and put Byron in a bad spot. Yeah, we saw a similar matchup earlier today. I think uh, the Buzz ended up playing S2H, and yeah. you know it's relatively close. Oh, he's got the lock, and he's wow, good whistle coming out from Myron, minimizing the damage and actually reversing the situation. And yeah, it looks like it seems like it's more comfortable for Cairo, but not the results that he's looking for. He's already down by quite a bit of percent. And forward smash covering so much range, and because you know that Meta Knight just wants to dash in. And yeah. that forest match is stuffing it. Yeah, that's kind of the thing about Meta Knight is that he can be pretty linear in how he chooses to approach if like you're fishing for a way to get the combo starter. Oh, but the up air covering the jump. Cyro quite behind by a bit here, trying to get something started. But there it is again, spacing with that purple pigment throw. Yeah, it's like uh, Myron trying to get a little creative and down air off stage. Probably right, better just capitalize. Oh man, he did his up air to connect. Uh, yeah, if he did connect that up air where he was going high with up, um, his up B, he could have got like an up air shuttle loop just to get an early stock. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate for him that it went the other way and uh, the downer went the other way, got the sour spot and killed him off the top. Trying to go aggressive in his edge guard here, but no, the purple pick is so good for Olimar to keep up his aggressive play, but nice follow up there into the shuttle loop. Good hit confirmed. And definitely the special that he needed to get back into it. But Myron has other ideas, putting on so much damage and so, you know, so confident. Just jumped right next to his shield, landed on the platform and threw a jab out. Oh. Bates him with that up air right in his face, daring him to do anything. And then lands the four air, put him further off stage. Myron in a little bit of trouble, though. No, pick it all, the up air. So fast. He is so ready for Sarah to go on the aggressive there that he had the whistle out in time just in case he did get hit and it threw out the up air immediately. Yeah, it kind of baited me out too. I think uh, Kyra saw what I did, or he's like, oh, he's got yeah. no pick, man. let me get him. But we both, but he had one purple left. That's all you need with Olimar. Sarah so trying to make something happen, but he just keeps trading with these purples. The side B, man, it's so good when he has the purples up because they're forced to block or just air dodge them. And kind of had an opportunity right there. Missed the down tilt follow up oh. and. Oh, oh, man. Double yeah. purple, one up smash misses, doesn't matter. Throw out another one. Two stock from Myron, 2 0. -oh. Strong Alomar display that we expect to see from him. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's just, it's just rough. <laughs> really rough to get in on this character. Yeah, sometimes you either get the Alomar matchup or you don't get the Alomar matchup, you know. And, um, all right. All right. Okay. So, you've been watching, you know, 2GG Prime Saga. I'm CT Lux on the microphone here with my partner 2GG Strides. If you enjoyed the commentary, go ahead and give us a follow. We got some more bracket action coming up after this, but we're going to be signing out and changing up here in just a second. It was a pleasure talking to you about some Smash. Pleasure working with you, Strides. Of course, anytime, man. Thank you guys again. Stay tuned. We're just going to have a casual switch. We have way more exciting matches and top-level players to come on the stream, so don't go anywhere.